guys, happy Wednesday. It is Kids Club Night and we are here on our fourth week of our Sing series. And we are talking about what we do when we do something wrong. The Bible calls it sin. We're reading Psalm 32. So I wanna take a poll. Have you guys ever said anything that wasn't true? Have you ever been jealous of something? Or jealous that somebody had something that didn't belong to you? Have you ever broken a rule? Or maybe disobeyed a grown-up? We've all sinned. But when we confess our sin, God forgives us. And when we tell God about the things we've done, God helps us be to do better next time. And God does this because he loves us. Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. And that's what we're talking about. So get ready, sit back. Let's see what Carl and his friends have to say this week. Hey there, Chicken Nuggets, and welcome to Grow TV. <laughs> by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. What have I stumbled upon here? A treat for me? Maybe a secret admirer? Perhaps a gift from the heavens. It looks delicious, mouth-watering. What did I do to deserve such a beautiful gift? Well, I don't know what it was, but I'm hungry. A little longer than a few minutes later. Ah, that was the most delicious thing I've ever tasted in my life. I can't even begin to describe how much I loved it, but I will. It's like biting into a rainbow with chocolate and frosting filling. It's what I imagine the great Rocky Mountains taste like. If you could eat the most beautiful Christmas song in the world, that's what that tasted like. Huh, looks like I just got a video message from Sonia. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hey Carl, just wanted to leave you a quick message and let you know it's my sister's birthday today. I was in the office yesterday and I forgot her dessert on your table. So make sure not to eat it. I'll be there later to pick it up after we talk. See ya, man. Don't forget, do not eat the dessert. What have I done? Oh, this is bad, this is bad, what am I gonna do? I'll have to run away. I'll have to change my name, move to the desert, live off the land. My home will be a palm tree, my bed, a pile of coconuts. Oh, this is terrible. Ah, it's Sonya. I'm not gonna answer. No, I have to. She'll know something's up if I don't. And if there's something up, she'll assume that I ate the treat. And if she knows I ate the treat, she might get angry. And if she gets angry, I'll cry. And if I cry, my eyes get all puffed up. If my eyes get all puffed up, my mama's gonna worry about me. If my mama gets all worried about me, then that's gonna make me more sad. And if I get more sad, it's gonna make her more sad. When I get more sad, I cry. And then when I cry more, my eyes get more puffy and some vicious cycle. Ah, I'll just answer. Sonya. Carl, what's going on? Good. It's so good to be here. Literally couldn't be gooder. More good. It's good. Excellent. I was curious. Did you get my message? Message? No, I didn't get your one message about the dessert. <gasps> Are you sure? Because you mentioned dessert, which is what the message was about. Did I? I thought I said desert because deserts are dry and empty, which would also describe my voice bo uh, voicemail box because there's nothing in there. <laughs> All right. You okay, Carl? You seem a little flustered. I'm great. Never been better. If you say so. So did you see the dessert on your table? I accidentally left it there and was going to drop by after work to pick it up for my sister's birthday. Nope, that's weird. I didn't see one. You sure you left it on my desk? And not uh, the other desk in the other office? Your desk is the only desk in the office. So yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sonya did something terrible! Whoa, what's going on? Why are you crying, Carl? I'm not sure I have the strength to tell you. Sure you do. You can tell me anything. Well, I lied to you. I know where the tree you left is. Oh, okay. I also know who took it. Who took it? I don't want to say his name. Okay, can you tell me what he looked like? Sure. He was about 5 foot 10, kind of bulky. Uh, but mostly the sweater from what he was wearing, glasses, no lenses, long oily hair, 
a smile that could heal the world. <laughs> Carl? Yeah? Did you eat the dessert? <laughs> How did you know? Just a guess, but you also have some crumbs in your beard. I do. Listen, Carl, I appreciate you telling me the truth. And I forgive you. What? What did you say? I forgive you. Why would you say that? I lied to you, like a lot of times, and I ruined your gift from your sister. I know, but I also know that you're sorry, and that's why I'm forgiving you, just like God does. What do you mean? Isn't lying a sin? And God hates sin. That's true, but you love Jesus, right? More than anything. Well, the Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Wow, it really says that? Yep, and if you read Psalm 32, I think it will help you understand God's love a little more. Let me look at it. Ha, huh. wow, it says my transgressions are forgiven and my sin is covered. <laughs> That's incredible. Isn't it great? We are loved so much that God is willing to forgive us for anything. <laughs> wow, I'm forgiven because God loves me. Yes. And that's our big idea. No! Today's big idea is I am forgiven because God loves me. That's right. So let's all say it together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. I'm forgiven, forgiven because, because God, God loves God. me. All right. Yes, yes. Woohoo! Thank you so much for forgiving me, Sonia. Again, I'm sorry for eating your dessert. No problem. Just don't let it happen again, or else. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Phew. <laughs> Have a good week, kids. See you next time. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. That Carl is something else, but our big idea... I'm forgiven because God loves me. All right, who is ready for our discussion questions? Discussion question number one. Do you know what sin is? Well, the Bible tells us sin is doing something that's not right. It's doing the wrong things. Question two, what does it mean to confess our sins? Well, confessing our sins is telling God or telling someone like a parent or an adult or even a friend what you've done wrong. It's admitting that you know in your heart that you've done something wrong. It's confessing that you know. So tell me, question three. Why do you think it's important to tell God what you've done wrong, to confess? Well, it's to make sure that we can admit it to ourselves. Sometimes we don't like to admit things to ourselves. And when we do say it, we make sure that we know it's true. And when we put it into words, we know that it will help us the next time when we come up with that situation. It'll help us the next time to know, hmm, maybe I shouldn't do it that way. And it also helps to know that God has our back and he's going to help us. So Psalm 32, 3 through 5 says, When I keep quiet, my bones wore out. I was groaning all day and all night long because your hand was heavy upon me. My energy was sapped as if I was in a summer drought. So I admitted my sin to you. I didn't conceal my guilt and I'll confess my sin to the Lord is what I said. Then you removed my guilt of sin. So tell me, what do you think happens if we don't confess our sins? Well, it says here, when I kept quiet, my bones wore out and I was groaning and your hand was, he was heavy upon me. On Sunday, we discussed that it kind of feels like that yucky stuff just takes over our heart. 
So sometimes when we don't confess, it weighs on us and it consumes what we feel like. So confessing makes a kind of a release. So when we don't confess, it kind of weighs us down and makes us feel bad. Question five, what do you think makes it hard to confess? Why is it so hard to tell someone what you've done wrong? Well, I think sometimes it's embarrassing that I did it, but it makes me feel good when I do tell someone and they accept my either my apology or they tell me that next time they're going to help me not do it. And I know that they're going to help me and it really makes me feel good that they tell me they still love me. And just like our big idea says, I'm forgiven because God loves me no matter what I do. So last question, question number six, how do you show forgiveness to someone? Well, I make sure and tell them the words, I forgive you and I still love you. It's okay to use your words and say, that something really upset you or that you were upset, but always tell them that you still love them or that you're still their friend because that's really important. Just like it's important for you to hear that. And it's important to know that no matter what, we're forgiven because God loves us. All right, guys, it has been a great night. Let's end our night in prayer, okay? Hold your hands with me. Dear God, we are so thankful that you love us and that you forgive us, that you give us the grace that sometimes we don't deserve, but you love us anyway. And we want to thank you for giving us the strength and helping us to know that we should confess our sins and that we should give grace to those who have sinned against us, just like in the Lord's Prayer that we recite. We want to thank you for the opportunity of Thanksgiving tomorrow. And we want to thank you for all you have given us, our family and our friends and the good food in front of us and all of the good times. Please help us remember that and help us share those times with each other. In your name we pray, amen. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous Thanksgiving. And I am so thankful for you.